share. Uh, could you send the template to you? Do you use Kelly criteria as a tool? Um, you know, the, the, the Kelly criteria is a great um, uh, theoretical framework uh, with some very good um, mathematics underpinning it. The problem is, I don't know anyone that uses it that effectively um, uh, estimates the inputs appropriately. Uh, so for example, uh, Whitney talked about Mark Sellers and Contango. He used the Kelly uh, criteria, the Kelly uh, principle. Um, and his inputs resulted in um, a conclusion that the right position size was 400% uh, for that particular investment. Uh, and he thought he was being conservative by only making it a 200% position. Um, the inputs and the, uh, um, uh, the, the, the variables are what, are what are important. So, so ultimately, no, we don't think Kelly criteria as a tool is particularly useful. Um, it's, it, we use decision trees um, in situations that have uh, outcomes like zero uh, as one of them. And we use um, basically just scenario uh, analyses in, um, uh, in other sort of, uh, you know, Berkshire Hathaway kind of uh, style investments. Um, as far as portfolio management tools and um, um, Excel templates associated with that, we never use them. And I haven't um, given any time thinking about that. Maybe somebody on the chat line can, can add that um, principle. But uh, Hussein um, put up a really important uh, point up here, which is people always underestimate the probabilities of a zero. And since equity is a residual claim on a, on, a, on a business, there is always a zero on the decision tree. In some cases, it's extremely small, but there's always a zero. And um, if you do not assume the downside in Kelly, that's where you get the wild um, uh, anti-diversification um, estimates in there. So just wanted yeah, to add I that. I still remember Mark Sellers on stage. We invited him to speak at the Value Investing Congress. Um, and he walked through the Kelly formula. And I think he was looking at, if I'm, if I'm don't miss my guess, it wasn't Contango. I think it was something like Home Depot. And the stock was at 23 bucks a share. And he mapped out a range of scenarios and applied the Kelly formula. And the only thing I remember is, is that his downside worst case scenario that he plugged into the model was $20 a share. Um, and I sat, and of course the Kelly formula correctly tells you that if your absolute worst case scenario in any investment is down less than 10%, um, and there's no possibility, zero possibility of anything worse than that. And there are plenty of upside scenarios that you should lever up um, and you know put 500% of your fund into that particular investment. But of course, you always, always, always have to model the chance of a zero, even something like Berkshire Hathaway. You have to model, uh, you know, a one percent chance uh, or something less than one percent chance of a zero. There is no such thing as something that can't go to zero, um, as we've learned again and again. And that will give you very different uh, results if you plug that into the Kelly formula. 